Hi everybody, Richard Travers here again at Artificial Lawyer TV. Uh, today we're doing another product walkthrough. This time we're looking at the CLM company Ironclad, but a very particular part of it, which is called ClickWrap. And this has come out of PackSafe, which is a company that Ironclad bought uh, a while ago. So uh, Eric and I founded a company called PackSafe uh, about six years ago, and we pioneered the ClickWrap transaction platform space. So we turn a click wrap is when you, you can see on the screen this little box here that says if i check this i'm accepting consenting to some terms and a privacy policy we turn the action of checking a box into a binding contract and incorporate all of the elements that you would take from a typical more traditional contract clm whatnot and and make that a real thing for click wrap and we do that at massive scale for companies like wayfair spotify doordash right we've done almost a billion contracts like that um so we were acquired by ironclad uh but about six months ago now and uh just relaunched the entire pack safe product suite as ironclad branded products um so that's what Eric's going to show. He's going to give us a quick demo of uh, what uh, ClickWrap looks like in the IronCloud world now. Yeah, thanks, Brian. So uh, what we're going to what we're going to start with is just to to give some context to the experience for the end counterparty or the consumer, the the buyer that's entering into the ClickWrap agreement. So this is not IronCloud ClickWrap. This is a an a customer experience for a fake company called Neighborino, um, where I am trying to sign up online to uh, complete a free trial of a service. Um, so you can see here, um, we've got a normal form as we normally would. Um, what's unique about this particular form is that Ironclad ClickWrap is embedded onto the page. And we have all sorts of developer tools, snippets of code that you can copy and paste really easily in. And what we're doing is we're automatically grabbing the right contracts that are defined by business users inside of Ironclad ClickWrap. And we can host and manage um, online legal terms like terms of service that are accepted as part of a transaction and all the versioning and, and acceptance of uh, the contract by the counterparty is completely automated. So once I click check the box and create account, uh, what is happening behind the scenes is there is a, a call that's made to Ironclad ClickWrap. It is tracked and stored in the Ironclad contract repository. And um, that's what I'm going to show next and, and what it looks like to someone on a, on a legal team that would want to find this record, whether they need to enforce it, they need to pull the contract down, customers requested it, what have you. And this is the same contract that uh, a customer would get, a counterparty would get after they accept. We can send email confirmations and, and all sorts of things like that once they accept the agreement. So if I'm, a, if I'm a legal person that's trying to find a subset of my customers or counterparties that have accepted a certain set of terms, um, we have a very robust repository, um, as you would expect in any CLM. And what we're able to do is rather than you know, pull a specific individual agreement, uh, we can pull large, large sets of data, millions of records if needed um, to help companies enforce this at scale. So what I'm looking at here, let's say for the sake of example, I need to pull all customers in New York because there's a, a new regulation um, that I want to update my terms for. So I want to get a sense of who's accepted um, the trial sign up click wrap agreement um, who live in New York. So you see, I've gone from thousands or potentially millions of uh, counterparties down to a simple set of 300 or so. And you'll see that, that I'm at the top of the list here. I can click in and see the entire history of this particular counterparty across all the different click wrap agreements that I've implemented in my business. I can go into the terms of service and see each time that I've accepted a set of terms uh, over that period of time. And I can see and click into and actually download a PDF record uh, that will give me a copy of a couple of things. You know, one, uh, an actual binding contract that's going to show the version of the terms of service that were accepted, 
um, all this additional metadata about that transaction, information about the counterparty. And you can see here, there's a number of automated uh, pieces of metadata that we capture, IP address, screen resolution, browser, URL, where the ClickWrap agreement was accepted. Uh, what we can also do is, is we can actually incorporate what we call a snapshot of that transaction. I'll show what that looks like here in, in just a second. So the ClickWrap agreement itself is very easy to manage for a business user. We also have real-time analytics of all the information um, about counterparties that have accepted this ClickWrap agreement, including what percentage of our, our counterparties have accepted versus just uh, you know, been shown the agreement, maybe they, they abandoned the, the trial signup flow. Um, and here we can also manage the templates, uh, the terms of service, the privacy policy that's, ex uh, that's presented to the, to the end counterparty. And legal teams can actually manage all the versions and content of these agreements, and even how this agreement is presented to the end user. So we can configure it as a scroll box, as a checkbox, um, we can really customize the look and feel of what this ClickWrap agreement looks like, publish it out, and then because we've already embedded the ClickWrap onto the page, it's going to update everything in real time. Um, so let's go back to the example of needing to update a terms of, the terms of service. So I can click into my terms of service here. I see all the historical data about counterparties that have accepted this over time. Uh, I can see each version, how many of my uh, counterparties accepted. And I can actually come in here and create a new version of this agreement, um, which is uh, really easy to do. We have a very straightforward um, editor that's really designed for web and mobile content. So we can support things like Markdown, um, HTML, and then this is the content that is ultimately published to an online legal center, which hosts those legal terms on the Ironclad ClickWrap platform, and we can mask it, you know, like legal.ironcladapp.com or legal.customername.com. And we empower the, the business user, the legal user to come in here, make changes to these documents. Um, and we can also denote whether this uh, update to the terms is a major version, which can prompt uh, counterparties to reaccept terms when they next log into the various places these ClickWrap agreements are embedded into. So I can click publish now. Um, and what's going to happen here is the new version of these sets of terms is going to be um, automatically published online. And I can see what that actually looks like here. So we got version 204. It's published online. Um, and it really gives uh, that control to the end uh, business user where a lot of these terms of service are, are not typically able to be managed by legal teams. It requires submitting JIRA tickets, working with engineering teams, exchanging emails, Word docs back and forth. And this really gives that, that control to, to the end, um, to the person who manages the legal content, right? Which is the, the same power of, of CLM that, that IronCloud offers. And so one of the one of the most exciting use cases beyond this is how do we move ClickWrap into more of a, a B2B context? So we all know the terms of service that we accept as part of buying a couch on Wayfair or signing up as a freelancer on Upwork.com or something like that. We also have a number of use cases with B2B companies where I'm going to slip into uh, Bridgebit software here who resells cloud services and they have a bunch of B2B customers that their account management team works with on a day-to-day -day basis. So Bridgebit Software has actually built an online customer portal for their B2B clients. And you can see here, I've got a, an order history of different cloud products that I bought over time. Well, um, the account manager for Andre's account has actually initiated a new order for Microsoft Office. One of the really uh, powerful use cases here for ClickWrap in a B2B context is that we can take all the power of ClickWrap agreements for consumer click wraps and incorporate them into a more dynamic B2B agreement. So what's happening on this particular click wrap, which is all embedded onto the page and powered by Ironclad ClickWrap, um, we've got Microsoft terms that are loading in dynamically based on the product um, that Andre is buying, which is Microsoft Office. We've got general terms and conditions that are also dynamically loaded in. And then within the agreement itself, um, you can see here that we've loaded in uh, specific content 
uh, just like we would conditionally in a, a contract in CLM, but this contract is embedded. It can be executed thousands or millions of times, and it loads all this information dynamically onto the page natively into the customer experience. So it removes the friction of needing to engage someone in a negotiation. It um, allows customers to create um, more self-service service experiences for their customers and really starts to offer the same power of consumer grade click wrap agreements for more of a B2B use case. And all I have to do here is click, I agree, move on. And it's going to send the same type of data back to ironclad click wrap. And in some cases can even integrate it back to CLM. So this is a great way that, that B2B companies are starting to incorporate click wrap as part of their strategy to take some of their high volume, non-negotiated agreements and push them into customer portals, online checkout. We even had customers that have built um, Shopify websites for their renewal process where click wrap agreements are a part of the renewal for some of their smaller customers or, or SMB type customers. And um, uh, kind of the next level here that, that we launched at State of Digital Contracting on September 9th was the capability to even take normal contracting workflows that you would typically send for e-signature and use a click wrap agreement um, as a way to finalize the contract. And we've really incorporated some of the benefits of Ironclad click wrap into CLM. And uh, there's a lot more to come. And obviously we're, we're very, very excited about it. Fantastic, Eric. Uh, a lot to digest there, but uh, people can always rewatch the video. But just a couple of quick questions uh, to both of you. Um, so fundamentally, what you're saying is, is that although this is kind of working well in a retail B2C environment now, you see the future as, you know, we could see two very big law firms, you know, like Wilson Sonsini or something, and Cooley doing some big M&A agreement for their clients. And they say, hey, Forget about the signature. Let's just use click, uh, click wrap. I mean, you you believe that that's a realistic scenario? It's it's certainly possible, right? It it's no less binding. the The only reason click wrap isn't more prevalent in the B two B world is just it took a while for people to get comfortable with using click wrap as a way to conduct business, right? Um, the past twenty years plus, we've all been conditioned as consumers to click on things. Um, you know, but the the underlying law, case law, statutory law, whatnot, that, that makes an e-signature binding is the exact same stuff that makes a click wrap binding. So really it comes down to the nature of the transaction, what the legal counsel and the people signing agreements are comfortable with. And what we're seeing is more and more business to business transactions um, are becoming acceptable in the minds of the people that are conducting those transactions to deploy with ClickRap. Um, it typically trends towards the higher volume, um, you know, lower dollar value type transactions right now, but we're seeing even that tick up, right? Um, the, the propensity for a business buyer to conduct a transaction with no human interaction, like the dollar threshold for those is going up, which means that click wrap is becoming more and more relevant for a wider swath of more sophisticated business transactions. Um, do, do we get to the point where M&A is totally done via click wrap? We'll see, right? Um, it's certainly possible. There's nothing legally preventing that besides just people deciding, hey, this is a better way to conduct this transaction. But um, we see it deployed very selectively and very strategically, um, mostly for the transactions that people want to just eliminate friction for, get off of the, the legal team's desk and try to automate, um, which leads lawyers, right, to, to, to paying attention to the transactions that really need to be paid attention to, the things that have to be redlined and changed and negotiated. Um, so... Yeah, <laughs> that makes total sense. And if it just last question, really, if you know, if someone's watching this, and they say, Look, um, I'm already using another system for CLM, I can't really jump onto ironclad right away, at least not, you know, tomorrow, or I'm a law firm, and hey, I don't need a CLM anyway, because I'm a law firm. Um, but I really like this click wrap thing. Can I just have click wrap, please? Uh, is that possible? It is. It is. Mm -hmm. We so we launched a completely separate product called Ironclad Clickwrap that um, 
is a true standalone click wrap platform. Uh, we also launched a uh, an, an add-on to Ironclad CLM called Click Wrap for CLM. So um, you can most of our big Click Wrap users are on the Ironclad Click Wrap platform. So irrespective of whether or not you're ready to switch to the CLM product, you can absolutely use Ironclad Click Wrap.